Hello everybody, back here for you again. So today I have a very special coin to share with you guys. It is the one ounce platinum Queen's Beast line. It's the first platinum coin I've ever got my hands on and it's an absolutely amazing coin. Really love this. Uh, and I also want to talk about platinum in general as an investment, as another metal that you might invest in. Because we've all seen gold and silver. Well, maybe some of us have seen gold, but, you know, us seasoned stackers, we've probably seen gold, we've probably seen a lot of silver. But platinum's not a very common precious metal that people stack. So it's very, very cool to be able to get this hands-on and have a look at it. Now, you may recognise this coin. I unboxed it last weekend as part of the big group order from goldsilver.b. If you haven't checked that unboxing out yet, please do go have a look. The link's in the description below. But this coin doesn't actually belong to me. It belongs to another silver for a member who's very kindly agreed to let me hold on to it for a couple of extra days so that I can actually get my hands on it and have a look at it. Now he's also given me permission to handle it with my bare hands which is really amazing because I do like to feel these things to see how they feel and look um, and as this was just a pure bullion investment for this chap he was quite happy to let me do that. So big thanks to him. He wants to remain anonymous but big thanks to him. You know who you are. You're awesome. Thank you very much. Now, this is very special indeed. Now, we've all seen the Queen's Beast design, so I'm not really going to linger too much on the aesthetics of the Queen's Beast design itself, but needless to say, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Jodie Clark's work in this design was fantastic, for this being the kind of flagship first release of the, uh, of the Queen's Beast series. It's really good, and it's you know, equally as good in platinum, if not better in platinum, than it is in, uh, in gold and silver. So there is the, the coin itself. It is, you know, remarkably small. You know, we're used to seeing, I'm certainly used on my silver ones to seeing this design and thinking, you know, it's, it's really big. But this is a remarkably small coin, very, very thin when you compare it with other stuff. And we'll, we'll get to compare it with some silver coins and some gold coins in a moment. Uh, on the reverse, we see Jodie Clark's work again with the design of Her Majesty the Queen. And you'll notice as well, it's a £100 denomination coin. So it has got that important denomination for us in the UK considering capital gains tax as and when it comes to be sold. So that's basically it. That's all I really want to talk about on the, on the actual aesthetics of the coin itself. I now want to have a look and compare it against gold and silver because I think that's what's the most interesting thing about this particular platinum coin. Now we all know, all know silver. Now here is an ounce of silver next to the ounce of platinum so you can really see the massive difference in sort of density basically. Uh, you know it's not only is it thicker but it's just bigger in diameter and I tell you you know, it's really, really interesting to see something that small that weighs the same as something that's almost twice the size and twice the volume. Uh, platinum, very dense metal, uh, and it is over half, I think. Don't quote me, I'm not a scientist, but I think it's over half the density of silver. So, you know, it's really amazing to see it next to that. Um, but, you know, I had a similar reaction when I got a one ounce gold coin, you know, because we have one ounce gold coins compared with one ounce silver coins significantly smaller gold being just un I think it's just under two times uh, as dense as silver so you know when you compare gold and silver you know they are very very different but it's really interesting when you compare it gold versus platinum uh, so I have here my uh, 2017 one ounce gold Britannia which is absolutely awesome uh, but then when you compare it against the platinum one ounce you remember these weigh the same remember they're both 31.1 uh, grams of metal but they both you know they don't look very different they've got the same size it's when you turn them on their side that you really do see the major difference and you can see there the thickness difference between the two coins which I find absolutely fascinating now having done a little bit of research from what I understand platinum at these purities uh, is 11% more dense than pure gold so you know it's 10% basically extra, 11% extra in terms of density, but it looks more than that when you look at it and you compare it against the kind of thickness, but I guess it's just a bit of a trick of the eyes and how it works, but absolutely amazing to compare them side by side. Uh, it's also really fascinating, I think, to think about this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, I was very much into my kind of fantasy world genres and you know Dungeons and Dragons and those types of things that would bore you guys. Uh, to death probably, but platinum was always the most valuable thing in any of those genres, you know, even I guess, I knew nothing about precious metal markets and things like that, but platinum always seemed to be more valuable than gold. But right now, gold is more valuable than platinum, which is a little bit weird, it just sits a bit weird for me, and if you look at the ratios over time, 
there was a period not too long ago, I think it was about 10 years ago, where platinum was more valuable than gold. And now the gold, sil gold, sorry, gold platinum ratio is very much in the favor of gold being more valuable compared to platinum. So it's a really interesting thing. And I think this is what kind of has spurred this Silver Forum member to actually go and buy this platinum is that, um, you know, they think, and you know, I'm kind of coming around to that thought as well, that perhaps platinum really is very, very much undervalued um, compared with gold. And if you think about, you know, the ratios and how historically platinum was always perceived to be the more, you know, the more rare metal, because at the end of the day, platinum is rarer. It's harder to mine. It's uh, certainly not as rare and common in the world. Um, but for it to be cheaper is just really weird. Now, it got me thinking about why that might be. And, um, there's a few things, you know, platinum for one is, it's a sort of a more of a modern day precious metal. Gold and silver have been around for a very, very long time and they've been used as currencies for a very, very long time. Um, but platinum itself is relatively modern in that sense as being used as a currency. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not uh, as inherently valuable, it really is because it's a very precious metal. Um, but it, and I think what it basically means to me is that platinum is not really as common in that kind of precious metal markets. Now, if I took this down to just we buy any gold shop on the high street, I wouldn't be sure if they would take it straight off the bat. You know, they, they maybe haven't, wouldn't have seen it before. It's really not that common. Perhaps they would. I think most places generally would. Uh, certainly the bigger places would. But your, your general kind of, you know, pawnbrokers or something might probably struggle to be taking this because they're just not sure about it. Um, so, you know, it's quite interesting, certainly on a secondary market, uh, you know, platinum is very much a niche thing. A lot of people, uh, from what the research I've done, a lot of people will be buying it as a hedge against the value of gold, you know, expecting if, if gold, you know, plummets, platinum probably will stay relatively similar or stable. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? If we all knew that, we'd be millionaires. Another interesting thing to talk about platinum is here in the UK, platinum is vatable. Now, when I say vatable, I mean that means that you can charge sales tax on it or you have to charge sales tax on it when you sell it as new. Um, so bullion dealers in the UK, when they're selling a platinum coin or a platinum investment bar or, or whatever it might be, they charge 20% VAT. Now, when you compare that against gold and buying an ounce of gold at 0% VAT, you know, a lot of people will choose that over over platinum. So I think it's certainly an interesting thing to think about and that's why this uh, Silver Forum member bought it as part of the group order from goldsilver.be because the, it's certainly a lot cheaper than buying in the UK but it's certainly still quite expensive. Now it's interesting to think that silver's got a, a you know a similar situation in the UK we charge VAT on it but over in Europe uh, they don't charge as much compared you know the prices are very competitive very very different from the UK prices of silver almost as you can see the sort of 20% reduction whereas with platinum it's only about it's about 8 or 9% cheaper so it's still not the full whack of 20% and that's because platinum it, you know I, I could be wrong so guys correct me if i'm wrong i'm getting my facts from uh, from various internet sources that are obviously very reputable like wikipedia but platinum is a very, very common industrial metal. It's used in catalytic converters. It's used in uh, you know, a whole host of different industries. So it is you know, a commodity that is traded more often as a you know, industrial component than it is a precious metal. So often you'll find that these things come with that sort of higher market rate and uh, different levels of tax and VAT and things on them. And that's why it's you know, vatted in the UK because the majority of the platinum that is used and sold is as part of industry and that's just the way it goes and of course lots of you know lots of big businesses will be able to actually claim reductions in VAT and sales tax when they buy you know items and articles for manufacturing things so it's not necessarily going to be that expensive for them but for us as the poor humble stackers and collectors and investors we have to pay big premiums on platinum when we buy it now having seen this coin up close and personal it's got me thinking about um, whether or not some some platinum would be good for the BYB stack and uh, in all honesty, I'm really tempted, especially when I have a look at this week of where precious metal prices are going uh, generally. So who knows, there may well be a platinum coin coming in the future. The problem I guess I have is that I'd want to get something, there's not very many different platinum coin designs, so I'd want to get something that's recognisable, and that would be probably the Queen's Beast series. And then the, the inner collector in me would be like, oh, you've got to get all of them. And that's quite a commitment to look to do, to buy 10 ounces of platinum. Um, certainly when I would always advise that it would be a hedge against gold and you wouldn't want to have a you know, very high proportion of platinum against your kind of equivalent amount of gold. So definitely one to think about. So let me know your thoughts, guys, on what you would do if you're in a similar situation. Let me know if you guys have got any platinum. Let, you, let me know if you're investing in platinum or if this has inspired you to go and buy some platinum coins. I think they're absolutely fantastic. 
Look guys, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up on it, share it around on your social media, that would be very helpful indeed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and if you hit the little alarm bell, you'll get a notification whenever I upload future videos. Tomorrow is a big day, we've got the Silver Forum Bars. They are ready, they are done, they are stamped, polished, they are hallmarked, everything's done. There'll be a really cool video tomorrow showing all 150 of them out on the table. It's going to be a fun video, so make sure you stick around and catch that. Otherwise, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.